this will finally be the one last vlog working on Miracle. Oh, hey, look, I am not in PJs because uh, I kind of had a work meeting and I did not allow myself to look like a hobo for once. So I thought I'd take this occasion to say hi, start this last vlog and open this new gift. I say new, but I've literally had this for like two months. I'm sorry to the person who purchased it for me. These gifts are from Anthony. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to name your name, but I will censor it if I'm not allowed to. Now you got three different gifts. Hope they are better than the midterms that you got. You know, Anthony, my midterms went quite horrible. I did great on my finals. I kind of know what it is because they told me. Clearly they listened to my vlogs because it's stuff that I really needed. <laughs> AKA the white pens to draw on foam. And it's hair chalk, but it's not for my hair. It's actually gonna be used to paint. Oh, you can't see it. I thought it would be like a more exciting reveal, but it's gonna be used to paint Mirko's ears. I was originally just gonna dilute some acrylics, but uh, this arrived, so. We're kicking off this vlog with the collar. Kinpatsu's guide came with a pattern for this too, but I wanted to make it extra fluffy, so I'm measuring it myself and making my own pattern. I took some measurements, traced it onto fabric, and hand sewed in some elastics at the back so it can easily be stretched over my head, as it was recommended. Mm. I added a second elastic and uh, when I tried it on, I found it too flat. So I'm gonna stuff it with my trusty beanbag stuffing. And that's a one more piece done. We're inching towards the end, guys. We're just gonna start by tackling the part that I've been dreading the most, which is fixing the booty on the bodysuit. To be honest though, we have all the pieces done already. I just need to find a way to attach them all to my body. And while we're at it, I wanted to show you guys my new desk. I have my work stuff in the complete right corner. I can now display my PC on my table where the pretty LEDs aren't just wasted away shining at my feet. I have my personal desktop section and my very own cosplay section of the table so I don't have to work on the floor anymore. Not that there's anything wrong with working on the floor and I'll probably still be working on the floor a lot. So I'm either gonna have to take this out and then try to shove it in a bit or do like little darts here or even like a whole ass, uh, ass. a whole ass dart. Is an ass dart a thing? I know a boob dart is a thing, but an ass dart, anybody? Wish me luck. Hey guys, it worked. The ass dart worked. All that's left is to cut out uh, the extra flaps to officialize it. We're gonna try to attach the tail. It looks huge like this, but it's actually not that big. We're probably gonna attach it using a button and a velcro. Uh, I'm scared that just a velcro would be too weak. If it's big enough, it shouldn't be. Yeah, screw the button, we're just gonna go with the velcro. I recently organized all my cosplay stuff and look at this, it's so clean and organized. We're gonna place this vertically to maximize its gravity fighting abilities. I can't say that sewing uh, this by hand is uh, the most obvious thing ever, but you gotta do it. I guess the other option would be to use hot glue, but it's so furry. The glue is just gonna stick to the fur and yank it all out. Next, we can get the heel attachments done and get this over with too. <laughs> Well, I initially wanted to do some fancy magnet thing, but I've been procrastinating for way too long thinking about this, so I'm just gonna go in with it and put in some Velcros and call it a day. <laughs> then we can spend all night trying to figure out how to the ears on my head without a headband. Maybe I'll just make a headband. We're just gonna mark off where the Velcros go and round off their corners. And since it's real nice outside, let's profiter, aka take advantage of the free, fresh air. It's so nice outside. I might just wait for my phone to dry so that they don't fly away without me knowing. Take my board for a ride and then come back and work into the night. Yes, I pre-wore my helmet. I was that excited. I 
I will probably come back and sew the other part to the fabric later. My parents are singing anyway, so it's gonna be really hard to record anything. <laughs> so I'll see you outside. <laughs> Since we opted to velcro everything, I went ahead and marked where everything goes. I started to hand sew, but I need to remember that I can also use my sewing machine to make my life easier sometimes. I have been thinking about it for a really long time and I don't have a headband and I wouldn't want a headband to show anyways. I do have tools <laughs> and a lot of metal wire. So you're about to witness a Toki Brain doing Toki Brain things at its full glory. I don't even know how to explain it, but we're just gonna improvise a head rig that's gonna poke through right here and I'm gonna add some metal pieces to create a something to hold it. I have been thinking about this a lot. Hopefully it works. <laughs> We're basically creating a metal canal made with DIY staples through which the headband will poke and hopefully prop itself up and stay there. Put these in. This is the idea behind it. Whee! And now for the headband. We're gonna take a deep breath and channel our inner earthbending. King Boomy would be proud of us. After a lot of pondering, I think I'm gonna remake uh, the ears. With Kinpatsu's pattern, the ears look fine, but when I put the fur over it, it looks like really big for my face. <laughs> I'm just gonna undo a few stitches and stick it directly onto the foam just so I can save a few maybe centimeters on the side. Maybe shave it down a little bit more even to make it even thinner. When I said remake, I did mean to tweak. We're gonna do our best to keep material wasting at a minimal. Next, we're gonna add some contact cement in there to smack it closed, but only at the most crucial part to keep it as light as possible. I don't know why, but in my head, contact cement is lighter than hot glue. I need someone to confirm this theory with me. And in there, we're gonna shove a metal wire to make the ears ever so slightly manipulable. Make sure that you sandwich that right between the contact cement lines so that it doesn't move. And after that, you get these! To polish it up, we're gonna retrim them with a side of The Conjuring 3. Nothing like a good horror movie to keep you awake. Actually, I think it was just decent compared to the other two Conjurings. Just came back from hiking and I want to take the fattest nap ever, but I know if I don't work on Mirko today, I will never have the time to finish her. So, we're gonna work on Mirko. Last we checked, we shaved the ears and they look a lot cleaner. Oh, they're holding much better too. So, <laughs> they're really big though. Do I just have a tiny head? Is that is that what's going on? I'm gonna try to use these hair chalks to color them. And you get to enjoy this beautiful Saturday morning bird mother nature ASMR with me as we work outside and enjoy the nice weather. We're gonna start off lightly and layer it as we go. Don't forget to of course use your hands to rub that in real good so that it stays there forever. Because a lot of contact cement shows at the gap where I attach both pieces front and back together. I am gonna paint it white and hopefully it'll be enough to cover it. Ooh, grimacing because it's getting caught in the fur and now I have like a furry brush. <laughs> Maybe if I just yank out all of these tainted fur after, I'll be okay. Of course, I'm using my fingers. I think on camera it looks a lot better than it does in real life and I'm okay with that. While that dries, I'm just gonna wrap this headband in foam so that it's not too uncomfortable on my head and kinda has more surface to hold on to under my wig.
It is extremely hot today, but I need to get stuff done. So we're just gonna suffer through the heat. I'm gonna slip this right on top of me. My legs get thicker. What is this? Ah! Oh gosh, that was hard. <laughs> oh my God, it fits. I actually wasn't expecting it to fit. <laughs> I need to trust myself more. Oh my god, it looks so good. <laughs> the objective is to draw that moon thing on her chest. Kinfatsu basically just applies some tapes, it draws out the pattern for it, so we'll try to do that. By the way, I am currently wearing my cosplay bra, so if you wonder why I have super uber duber big boobs right now, well, that explains everything. It has taken me so long to film this vlog that my bangs have grown out. tweak it a bit. I just remember why it took me so long to convince myself to get started on this piece even though I'm like two steps away from finishing. So the problem is that I only have this thin stretch golden fabric. Kinpatsu uses like this golden vinyl. A lot of cosplayers use that golden vinyl actually. I am hesitating between doubling it or ironing it on, but I really need to progress. So I really need to decide soon. The more time I spend thinking about it, the less time I get to actually work on it. So we're just gonna do it. pinning the beautiful design to the mannequin. I think we found a name for her. Mannequin! I am just pinning down the design so that we can hand sew it in where it is. I'm not gonna use the machine because I don't want to, the top stitch to show. I might change my mind, but I am currently sold on hand sewing it. it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Today, I made these buttons out of something and uh, they look like buttons. I'm not sure if they look good as buttons, but we will temporarily use this until I feel like replacing them. Since we've opted not to sew them straight onto my stockings, I am going to add a piece of elastic, if I can find one. I don't have large uh, rolls of elastic anymore, but I salvaged these from my previous cosplays. So, yay me! Since we're not sewing the socks to the stockings anymore, I wanted to make it a tiny bit more secure and add some elastics in the back. And while we're at it, we're just gonna roll the hems here too and finish off this part of the cosplay. A moment of silence to thank the cosplay gods for the will and motivation to complete this cosplay. Amen. Quick review of everything we made from the bottom up. We're gonna start off with the solid foot armor, front and back. Up next we have the super stretchy and super comfortable socks. Then the bodysuit that's a bit too tight for my hips. The pom-pom that I never edited the tutorial for. The extra fluffy neck piece that's actually way too hot to wear. The gloves that I forgot to put on for my cost test pictures. And finally, the gigantic ears. This side project was such a long detour. If you recall, I wanted to do this project in 24 hours at the beginning. Oh, how delusional I can be sometimes. But I am super excited to be done. You can probably find me next time on my vlog, trying it on and taking some pictures. Finally, some new content. And then after that, we can resume. Big titty mama waifu. Montreal is in the green zone, so I can go out more. In the meantime, I hope y'all enjoy your summers. Stay safe out there. Thank you for joining me in this off-road sidetrack. So until next time, see ya next time, maybe. So 
I just got back and uh, y'all thank god for this helmet because you guys dismissed the biggest Toki fall in the history of Toki falls. <laughs> I was right at the intersection and I got nervous and hopped too fast onto my board and it just flew and I went whoop oh, God, I like bled through my shirt. I don't know how bad the damage is. I'm gonna go check on that now and uh, get back to cosplay. <laughs> 